India is a country with a bright future and it is changing rapidly, you could also say dramatically, with new things, uh, as Mr. Mohan said just a little while ago, happening really every day. And uh, if we look at the nature of these changes, we will soon find out that most changes have something to do with digitization. Digitization, and we have seen this very clearly, and I do not have to repeat this, is one of the big mega trends, uh, not only of our times, but of history. Uh, it has kicked off an evolution, some people say a revolution, which has implications for the economy, the society, and also the political environment we are living in. Uh, I was asked to speak about uh, the future of doing business, and I would like to add, and uh, the future of doing business, and most other things also, because most other things uh, are affected by digitization. Usually one starts a presentation with defining what one talks about. Digitization is basically the process where the processes which used to happen offline let's say by writing something down and storing it, are digitized. And uh, this is then put into an online medium, into online data. And the advantage, the revolution is that these data can be stored much easier, but they can also be transported much easier, much faster and much more effectively. And this is the key to the success. And you cannot stop this because modern economy in a free market is seeking efficiency and is seeking to be faster and this is what we're seeing with the rapid uh, digitization. Just two figures, uh, two decades ago uh, there were about 1.5 million people using the internet, the population of a city like Barcelona in Europe. Today the whole population of Asia including India and China are uh, more or less permanently online if you look at it on a, a global scale. And according to a news item in the Times of India just a couple of days ago, in a few years, three to four years, writes the newspaper, uh, one billion Indians will become connected to the internet, and the huge majority of these one billion people will use smartphones. Uh, and have replaced the old-fashioned cell phones and will play with the internet and use the internet via their mobile phones. The central government of your country uh, has demonstrated uh, in words and in deeds that it understands the tremendous uh, potential of digital technology. I think we will agree that few statesmen uh, of our world uh, are more open uh, to digital technology, more friendly to this than is your Prime Minister. This pertains to his personal communication habits, taking uh, selfies with foreign dignitaries and communicating with social media with his colleagues, but probably more important even uh, to his insistence that India needs to exploit the chances of the digital technology in order to advance as a nation. In spite of all the hype, and there is indeed a lot of hype, and there's interest, of course, behind this hype, there are also uh, challenges uh, confronting India in this field, and some of them, I think, are often overlooked. The country lags behind much of the world, particularly if it comes to the digital infrastructure, not only in the non-digital infrastructure, but also in the digital infrastructure. Just over 100 million Indians have access to broadband connections, and critics uh, rightly say that the speed in which the optic fiber network is expanded is lagging behind. It is therefore no coincidence that the creation of the digital infrastructure, which uh, Mr. Mohan 
presented is one of the priorities of the uh, program of the Digital India Initiative of this government. The two others are delivering services digitally. We heard about the possibilities this entails, but also very importantly, promoting digital literacy. And I am pleased as the representative of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation that we, in close cooperation with TFSC, are active in promoting digital literacy uh, to small and medium-sized uh, company, entrepreneurs, and uh, I wish to confirm and to announce uh, that we will continue and even extend our efforts in this field because uh, we believe that uh, increasing digital literacy, particularly with entrepreneurs who belong to small and to medium-sized uh, entrepreneurs, is an important contribution to development. Together with the deficiencies of infrastructure, which I mentioned and which the government is tackling, uh, the regulatory framework uh, may also be called the challenge. Uh, people who are critical uh, of the economic system and of the policies of the government are regularly criticizing the red tape and uh, uh, the difficulties in doing business here. Indeed, uh, many things can change. Uh, and uh, one may only hope that if the government sets out to reform the regulatory framework, also due consideration may be paid to the demands of the digital future.